Hi, my name is Josua Malharba and I'm the director of Devil's Peak. Uh, working with Dion Mayer again after Trackers as well as um, him being a producer on my film Krikwastat is obviously fantastic. You know, we've got a great working relationship. Uh, there's a great mutual respect. I think uh, his books are appealing and uh, people all across the world love his work. Uh, I strive for a similar thing with my work. You know, I want as many people as possible to enjoy it and make it as true to context as possible. What I really enjoy about making genre television and film is that you're able to, to hide uh, themes and stories inside of that. I think the, the genre offers a base point for uh, sort of general entertainment, but then as a director, uh, I'm able to weave in things that I care about seamlessly. Um, and I'm able to put signatures and uh, imbue a certain tone within that genre to an audience to make it something fresh. So I find the crime genre and the thriller genre uh, to be very good at that. Uh, to be a very good uh, delivery package to an audience but then when they actually watch it they're watching something fresh and original and something that I can communicate to them whether it be a message or a character or a place. The book Devil's Peak uh, offers a couple of known tropes, the police detective, uh, the way that the police detective is trying to solve a, 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 a case and these are sorts of things that we've seen before. So again, it, it's that thing about a, a known genre for an audience and we're offering them something that they're familiar with. But what makes Devil's Peak so interesting is that it's set in Cape Town, contemporary Cape Town, and you're dealing with a Dion Mayer structure where seemingly unconnected storylines ultimately do collide. And so I think that's partly why Dion's books are appealing to turn into, into shows because they have a very strong narrative uh, ideas. But then secondary to that Devil's Peak itself is a contemporary Cape Town in a way that you haven't really seen it before. And so we've really taken that idea to its max and made it a familiar place, but re reimagined it in many ways. I decided to take on Devil's Peak specifically, partly because uh, it get, I get to work with Dion Mayer's work again, which, and I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of that. Um, but also I it was a real opportunity for me to put my uh, point of view on a contemporary Cape Town. Um, it was an opportunity to show a Cape Town that hasn't been explored before and hasn't shown in its sort of true colors, I feel, you know. I think there is uh, one side of Cape Town which is portrayed as what's at the top 10 visiting destinations in the world and out of that, you know, you see sort of three or four places over and over again or the highest crime rate in South Africa, which we also know of, you know. And so these two ideas are always separate ideas. And Devil's Peak gave me the opportunity to put the, those things in direct conflict with, with each other and create a really compelling idea. And that was what drew me to it. One of the challenges that we've really faced in making the show is the scope of the world that we're trying to tell. Uh, we've got so many different locations, all the way from Langa to Camps Bay to Constantia and everything in between. And the challenge has been to get all of the work done and to portray that in an interesting and fresh way. Um, the work itself has been tremendously fun to do and the scripts are high octane, high drama, high tension scripts and all the actors have risen to that level um, and the technical teams have just been fantastic. So the making of the show has been a real pleasure and I really look forward to editing the thing in the next process to deliver this very special series to the audience. What audience can look forward to while watching the show is not knowing what's going to happen next. Around each corner there's a surprise. And what we've really worked on in the story is making sure that each beat uh, contains a sense of thrill and a sense of tension. And so this is a fast moving, dramatic, compelling series um, showing Cape Town in a very contemporary fashion. And I think those are all exciting ideas. Not only that, but we're bring, bringing Benny Chrysal to screen for the first time. 